Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in. It really helps me out if you like, comment, subscribe, and if you would consider purchasing from one of my sponsors in the description. Thanks a bunch. Today's episode is brought to you by Roll True Scale Models, specifically their 40 foot containers from their Iron line, which is designed to give you the most detail possible without breaking the bank. The containers are available in all of your favorite shipping lines and feature printing on all sides that is crisp and detailed, including the sides, the doors, and occasionally even the tops if the container company normally has that. The containers include a removable bottom just in case you want to add weight or even add cargo. It's up to you. And they have carefully placed and correctly sized pins and pinholes on the top for accurate stacking. These containers are also available at a lower price without livery for all of your diorama needs. Please see the link in my description for information on how to purchase and for a coupon that will give you 10% off. Hey everyone, how are you today? Well, the Broadway Limiteds are back and these are the two Broadway Limiteds that had blown smoke units. To be honest, they were back a while ago, but I just didn't want to deal with it, so I left them in their boxes Here's everything. So got circuit board failures, all kinds of stuff like that. But true to their form, they've done this a few times. One of my videos actually summarizes all of the blown smoke units I've had. And these were the last two that were blown and needed to come back. So here is the Northern Pacific S2. It's back. These are both Northerns, my favorite form factor and the S3 is back. My fantasy scheme, Milwaukee Road, which is actually a unit I didn't particularly want, but then I fell in love with it. Let's find out if the smoke units will first work, and then we will find out if they will blow up. And I have a new controller today, and I am going to give it a shot to see if that helps. I'm also going, and I haven't made, I'm going to make modifications to my Marklin controller um, but for now, I haven't made those modifications, um, so I'm going to go ahead and use this. It's a pretty inexpensive controller, so I think let's see if this one will help. And then since I make my modifications to the Marklin controller, I'll also run that. So I figured if we can get these things to run for 20 minutes straight, 20 minutes, we will have us a successful test. So let's see if they will run for 20 minutes. We've got the clock and I will zoom in on it for you. And these will zoom around the track in not so real time. And we will just watch the clock and the smoke and make sure that everything works. And goodness, I hope it does. Wow, what do you know? 20 minutes with no blown smoke units. That's incredible then. That's, that's yeah, definitely a record for these two. No doubt, in fact, what um, the, gosh, they've both been back at least once before, right? I'm just losing count. It's unbelievable to me. These things have been spent more time in the mail than in my place. All right, let's take a look at the blue goose again. If everyone remembers, this was the royal goose that came from Train World and it really had a lot of problems with certain parts of my track and then i had real problems with someone who may or may not be called frank who didn't particularly care for helping me do anything other than to gloat i guess that it was working on his track and refused to watch this video for whatever reason like i said frank or well maybe it's not frank needs to work on his customer service skills a little bit, I think. Either way, this was clearly defective, so I sent it back. But then I had another video with the Blue Goose, because I got that also, and I was demonstrating that 
actually it suffers from some of the same problems. And uh, you can go back and watch those two videos, but what happens is, is the lights and the smoke are on a different circuit. Uh, they're relayed in, I guess, and so the built-in capacitor will hold up the sound and the motion, but will not hold up the smoke unit and the lights. And actually, I think this is not the greatest decision. If you looked at the preview, if, if you look at the Royal Goose running around, you'll see that the smoke unit actually quits. It actually stops wholesale, and you have to dump the track and let the whole thing power down and then come back to it again. And I think this, the way they did that is actually a big mistake. But I've been working with this Blue Goose. It's not as bad as the Royal Goose, but if you look, it definitely has problems. All it's doing right now is going around a curve and it starts to have problems. Should be able to go around a curve without any kind of issues, but you can see here, it's gone to the capacitor, it's gone to the keep alive inside, and it's just not a good, there is a fundamental flaw in this locomotive, and I proved in my previous video that the electrical pickups in the front can completely stop working. What's kind of interesting though, is if you run this thing backwards, it'll have the problem a very little bit, but it won't, and so, kind of scratching my head thinking what could be the problem. I'm gonna go ahead and run this forward to the point where it goes on to the capacitor because it's not picking up power. And listen, there's some, I don't know, just listen to this. Do you hear all that clicking in there right before the power died? That is coming from the front. It's coming from the driving wheel somewhere. I can't quite tell. I haven't isolated it, but every time the lights, and I don't have the smoke unit on here, but every time it goes onto the capacitor, I hear that pinging and it's something mechanical. So, but I don't know what it is. So I'm going to take the time to actually listen to it more and see if I can figure out what that clicking noise is. It has a bit of a metallic ring to it that I don't think is coming through uh, very well. So I'm gonna work on this for you guys, but this is clearly a problem and I'm not the only one who's had this problem. I've had it twice, so I know it's a real issue. And if I read other people's comments on this and I see other reviews, a lot of people are having problems like this with their Blue Goose. There is something fundamentally flawed about its design. I don't know what it is. Part of me is tempted just to go ahead and call it defective and send it back, but I'm gonna see maybe if I can help everybody here by figuring this out. For what it's worth, I'm not entirely sure we're out of the woods yet. You might be able to see it on the video once in a while, but actually the emergency light actually flickers once in a great while on the Milwaukee Road S3. Not sure why it does, but it'll be coming down and I can just see it sort of flickering that's concerning to me, but overall, of course, the fact that it has a working smoke unit is a lot better than we've been doing at any other time. So there may be some quirks to it yet. I'm not sure if we're completely out of the woods. I would like to think that we are, but we just might not be. So there you go. This was just basically designed to be an update, but I would seriously caution you if you're thinking about purchasing a Blue Goose that just know that I think there's a fundamental flaw with the model and I will try to figure out what it is, but there's, there's something seriously wrong going on with it. And again, it's, it's one thing, right, if I just had one model that did this, but I had two that are doing, well, they're, that did the exact same thing. I still owned one, the other one I sent back because it was defective, but Go ahead, look around on the forums, look around on Facebook, and you know, listen to other people who are talking about the Blue Goose, and it happens on theirs too. They screwed up something with it, and I, I can't figure out what it is. And I want to, but I can't. It's possible that some of the rods are shorting, or something's going on, I don't know. 
but if I can figure it out, I will, and hopefully that'll help you or help Broadway Limited. But, you know, I, I would just encourage caution if this was a model that you were thinking of purchasing. Okie dokie. Well, I'll give you another running session if you want to stick around for that. But, uh, you know, no matter what, I appreciate you watching. I really do. Let me know what you think down below in the comments. And it doesn't cost you anything, I promise. But if you could like the video, I'd really appreciate that. And it costs you the same, absolutely nothing, if you subscribe. And try to have at least three videos up a week. I hope you like them. So I'm going to move on from these again and, and show off some other models that I recently received and hope you like them. Anyhow, appreciate you once again. Happy model railroading to you. Take care. I will talk to you later. See you next time. Bye for now.